matinee baseball. Now at the plate, Charlie Blackman. He will lead this one off today. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Sky down the left field line. Gardner on the move. Running hard. He's digging for second. And that'll manage to hop over the wall. He'll be at second to start the game on a ground rule double. First pitch of the at bat. Shot weakly to the left. Andahar brings it in, and that's out number one. Here's Nolan Arenado. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. He's set and the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Hey, I know it's early on in the game, but when a third pitch like that is called for a ball, it looks like that tight zone is going to be awfully small today. And that's in there for his strike one and one. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And this will hop over the wall, but the run will score. Digging in, Trevor Story. And the Rockies trying to hang even more damage on the scoreboard in the opening frame. And this thing bounces over the wall, but I don't think it would have mattered if it stayed in the ballpark. Either way, the runner was going to score, and he was going to wind up at second. He drove that ball really nicely. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Hey, make a pitch right here and get out of this. Get the boys in the dugout and regroup a little bit. One run is not going to kill you. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Here's Cargo, Carlos Gonzalez. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. And this is low, ball one. In for a strike, it's one and one. Well, clearly this guy doesn't need many warm-up pitches because he's 98 miles an hour in the first inning. News flash to the offense. They better get it going. Two balls and a strike to Carlos Gonzalez. And it's two balls and two strikes now. This one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. One for the Rockies in the inning, and it comes on the double by Arenado. On to the bottom of the first now from Yankee Stadium. And the Rockies have the early 1-0 advantage. Line shot to first, and there's one away. Stepping in, Aaron Judge. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. All over that one, but a little out in front. Foul ball. The wind up and the 0 1. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. Judge, who fittingly gets the nickname All Rise, who was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder, and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Yeah, there are a couple of things you don't want to do as a visiting pitcher. Never give the home crowd a reason to get involved early, and don't put guys on base to ignite a big inning. Well, mission accomplished on both fronts. We'll see how he responds. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Grounder down the line at third. Gloved by Arenado. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the. Matt Holliday standing in now. He'll get us started in the top of the second. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike.
And that one just missed outside. The one two. Rounded up the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. When you have two strikes on you, as a hitter, if you get something that you can handle, you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. And with a big pitch here, he'll step off and rethink things. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. In now for Colorado, David Dahl, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. No balls in one strike. Bases are empty, one man out. And he misses with it, one and one. Into the corner and slicing foul. To two balls and two strikes now. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Coming to the plate now, Ian Desmond. Previous history with Luis Severino. Not a big sample size, 0 for 1. And he pours this one in at the letters, 0 and 1. Well, they got to him in the first inning, which is huge, but he looks a lot more settled into this ball game right now. He's not the kind of pitcher you want to let get into a groove out there. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down. Here's Didi Gregorius. He's set to lead off the whole half of the second. Didi Gregorius. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. One ball, one strike to count. One one liner toward right center and that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases and the Yankees are in business here it's a leadoff double now that's the way you answer they're down one nothing already but he laces the double and puts himself in the scoring position that'll get the dugout fired up and excited to punch back from the belt kicks and deals. Oh, he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Hey, this has the makings of being a pretty big inning. The roll leadoff double now a base hit, and all of a sudden we're looking at first and third. Yes, yeah, sometimes you wake up and just get smacked in the mouth right here. He's going to have to start executing pitches. He cannot leave a ball over the heart of the plate right here. He's going to have damage on his hands. Here's Miguel Andujar now. He grounds it sharply to third. And this is a base hit, and that'll get him on the board as this ball game is tied at one. 
Well, that's a tough one right there if you're a pitcher, d -Roy. You think you make a decent pitch, ball hit to the hole right through there. You're hoping it can get knocked down. Instead, base hit, run batted in. Yeah, and as the batter right there, you're taking off your batting gloves, giving dabs to the first base coach. Glad that that found the hole right there. Ribeye stake, chalk one up. Gary Sanchez stands in as he looks at ball one here. Drilled to the left side. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. On to the third baseman, but it's off the mark. But they'll catch a break as the runners are going to stay where they are here as there's no advance. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. Into the box, Luke Voigt. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And they won't come close to getting him. He's in there at third. And that'll bring up Glaber Torre. And they're runners at the corners now. From the stretch. Trying to lay one down here, but he misses strike one. First and third, you know he's going to do everything he can on the mound to roll up a double play ball. On the other side, he's got to be looking for a mistake up in the zone that he can drive in the air and pick up a sack fly at the very least. Story backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Riding in once again, Brett Gardner. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That's a ball. Missed with a slider. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Gonzalez will get there and he puts it away to. Welcome back to Major League Baseball on MLB Network as we're set for the top half of the third from the Bronx. And the 34 year old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0 and 1. These are huge innings for a team's morale. The pitcher wants to go out and throw that shutdown inning up and get the boys back swinging the bats again with a chance to capitalize and even extend this current lead. Oh, and they still have no answer for him up there. Six straight punch outs now, and there's one away. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. Liner toward right center. But this will hang up long enough for the center fielder to run under it as he makes the play for the second down. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. This is in the air to center. Does he have another one, two, three for the ledger? He does. Eight in a row he's set down. Stepping up now, Aaron Judge. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Aaron Judge. Oh, and he gets the inning started with a bang as this is hit high and deep to left field. Looking up is Dahl. Gone. He uses that short porch to an advantage. Home run. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. Giancarlo Stanton now. Giancarlo As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. One ball has already left the yard, and the big boys haven't even come up again. Get the fireworks ready. Setting him up inside as he swings and misses for strike two. So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter the same pitch three times in a row. But both of those sliders back to back were so good. I might just go ahead and try to throw another one. Throw on to first. So a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Trying to pick things up where he left off. 
Didi Gregorius. One run in and one gone so far in the center. Hit out towards second. Throw in time at first for route number two. At the plate, Aaron Hicks. He singled his last time up. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit in the air to center field. After it is Blackman. And the inning is over. The Yankees do get one on the solo homer. We're through. Ready now, Nolan Arenado. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. The one two fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning in now Trevor story he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up and he takes a pitch that's ruled a strike at the knees pretty liberal strike zone there it's 0 and 1. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Slider. Ooh, thought he had him, but it's one and two. Pretty good discipline right there with two strikes. That's a tough sweeping slider. Not many guys lay off that pitch. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. So bases are empty here with two gone and standing in the right fielder Carlos Gonzalez. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. Not too often you see a changeup come across at 88 miles an hour on the gun. Still effective when you're throwing a fastball in the high 90s though. One and two now. The one two pulled high in the air out to right field judges under it. He makes the play and that'll end the inning three up. Here's Miguel Andujar now looking to follow up the Leading RBI the single from his first at bat. Third baseman, Miguel Line toward the gap in left center. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. I mean, there's no seeker right now. There's a fight at the back. Right? Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Now a long throw to third. Throw won't get him. Danny, how frustrating is this right here? First and third, you got problems all over. Right up the dugout, right? You're starting an inning fresh. You're expecting to have a one, two, three inning. You look up, and all of a sudden, first and third, nobody out. It's time to make some good pitches. Standing in now, Luke Boyd. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. He hit a sack fly earlier. Down and away, ball one. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here, so the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Dahl going back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs into score from third, and it's a four to one game. The batter, number and that'll five.
first pitch on its way. Big tilt on the slider gets a swing and a miss. You might see a change of game plan right here from the pitcher and catcher. They have to find a way to get these guys off that early count heater. Look for a little bit of change of pace. Dahl is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Here's Brett Gardner now. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Pulled toward right center field. And he will get there to make the running play. Matt Holliday standing in now. He'll look to light a spark under this lineup that hasn't found the scoreboard since back in the first inning. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the starting pitching they faced. It's been very difficult to rebound and, quite frankly, dominate after getting roughed up a bit in the first inning of a start. So I'll give him a lot of credit for what he's been able to do. Ground ball right side. Torres brings it in. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. How about it? And that will bring up the speedy outfielder David Dahl. Popped him up. Sanchez waits on it. Two down. Digging in to try it again. He and Desmond. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Fifth inning here in a four to one ball game. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher. Able to pound his own with all different options. The one two. Misses for the second ball. Well two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. Chris Iannetta would be next. This is line to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that. Digging in now, Aaron Judge. Leading off the Very game. rarely, Matt, do you see a right first pitch there. change up Aaron. hit out of the ballpark. That tells me right now that this guy. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. ball one. And that misses one and one. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left field. Into the second deck and gone. <laughs> Solo home run there for Aaron Judge. His second of the game as they stretch the lead to 5 1. That home run is definitely worth giving the show track treatment to. And as we look at it, not only an impressive distance shot, but the 110 miles an hour exit velocity is nothing to scoff at either. That's a big boy home run. Now Jim Carlo Stanton now. John Carlos Stanton. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Here, Didi Gregorius. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Right side. LeMayhew's got it. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Stepping up to the plate, Aaron Hicks. One for two in the ballgame thus far. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And it's gone as they add still another. We've seen these guys go deep three times so far in this one, guys. 
again, they're absolutely not going to cover off the ball. I'm curious to get your take on this. I didn't find it to be the truth. I didn't mind hitting at night. But a lot of guys say they see the ball better during the day. You know what's funny, D-Row, is, is I preferred to pitch in night games as opposed to day games. I always thought it was advantage to the hitter, and so far that looks like it's the case in this one right here. They must be seeing the ball really well because they're, they're just absolutely smoking the baseball right now. Ready once again, Gary Sanchez, runner in scoring position with Sugan. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight. And the shortstop is under it to make the play. Here's the catcher now, Chris Iannetta. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah, only two hits so far, Matt, and not very many hard hit balls either. We'll see if they can start making some adjustments. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Lays off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. Well, knowing the threat this guy poses if he gets on base, I think the next pitch should be a challenge pitch. You don't want to give guys that can run a free chance to cause havoc out there, especially the leadoff guy. Count full, three balls and two strikes. hit the other way out toward right field. Judge is there one away. Here's Charlie Blackman now. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at bat but it resulted in a line out. Liner toward right center. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. Around second now and headed for third. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. The second this thing got past the outfielder, you knew it was at least a double, possibly a triple. But he turns on the afterburners and is safely into third. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. A fastball that he's way out in front of, a swing and a miss. This is where, as a batter, you got to find a way to put something in the outfield, get something elevated. I know you got to battle with two strikes and protect, but if anything is belt or above, you got to swing. Look out as this bat shatters on impact. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. The one two popped him up. Torres moving to his left. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Here's Nolan Arenado. He's one for two with an RBI double back in the first inning of this one. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. That's straight smoke at 99, guys. It's almost unfair. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this... Chad Bettis enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 35. Standing in, Luke Boyd. He's set to start it out for the Yanks here in the sixth. High fly ball out to straightaway center. After it is Blackman. He's got it one away. Now at the plate, Gleiber Torres. 0 for 2 for him to this point. At third, Arenado. And there are two away now. So striding in, Brett Gardner. He struggled at the top of the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. Now a right hander has started to get loose in the Colorado bullpen. High in the air down the right field line. Gonzalez on the run. And he makes the catch in the corner. So and that brings in the power hit. 
Leading off of the Rocky, Rocky Dutch, Ruffer, Thor. Here it comes. Grounded foul off to the right. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Takes a knee-high fastball. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone, and when he comes off the mound at the end of the inning, looks like he stepped in a big old bucket assassin. To his right, Boyd. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. How about it? Right, right, right. Fielder, Carlos Gonzalez. Here comes the Yankee skipper on his way to the mound. And it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. A fastball that just misses inside. Couldn't wait back. A swing and a miss. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. One run on three hits. No errors in the ball game for the Rockies thus far. Try again, one, two. And it's fouled away. Now another one, two. Line toward right center. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lays off one and oh. Hey, you can tell by the look on that manager's face, he's obviously frustrated right now. But it's a long season. You're going to have a lot of ebbs and flows with your offense. Does he take a step back and relax a little bit, or does he call a team meeting right after this one? A ball and two strikes now. Last strike now for Colorado. Tried to shoot the corner, and he missed it. Two and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those Our fans cheering, win. this is a good win for this team. Six to one, the final tally today. The New York Yankees took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Luis Severino pitches well enough to get the W. Kyle Freeland permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. This is Matt Vaskersian, and you've been watching a presentation of MLB Network. See you next time. Thank you for attending. And remind you to please drive home.